Generating a secure password using Windows PowerShell can be done in a number of ways. One of the simplest is to call a .NET method. The .NET method, system.web.security namespace, with the class membership and the generate password method, will generate a random password of specified length. This requires two parameters in order to function. The first number, 15, is the total length of all characters in the password and must be within the .NET method's acceptable range, which is between 1 and 128. The second number, 0, is the minimum number of non-alphanumeric characters, such as the pound or hash sign, the exclamation point, percentage sign, ampersand, and so on, in the generated password. These parameters at the end of the .NET method allow us to customize the randomness of our generated password. As you can see, even when the minimum number of non-alphanumeric characters is set to zero, there is still a random chance for non-alphanumeric characters to be generated as part of the password. As you can see, there were four non-alphanumeric characters created in this output. This one-liner alone will only generate us a password, but we can do a little more work and put that password into a variable. It will then become much more useful to us. First, let's create a variable for the password length. Next, let's create a variable for the non-alphanumeric character arguments. And finally, the variable to hold the created password itself. This command behaves exactly as before. However, now it's self-documenting. When we later review this code, the variable names will tell us its function in the parameters. Let's test the .NET method now that we've put it into variables. Now let's call the variable and see what random group of characters it's created this time. Let's check the password length. As expected, our password length matches the value we specified in our variable. Taking what's been demonstrated so far, let's create a function that could be DOS sourced and called by other functions or scripts. Let's create that function and call it new random password. We can make this an advanced function by adding the commandlet binding. This will allow us to auto-complete our arguments later when the function is called. Next, we'll need to create the parameter section. As before, we'll set the password length parameter and give it a value of 15. This will be the default number of characters should none be specified when the function is called. Since there is a requirement by the .NET method for the total characters to be between 1 and 128, we can use the validate range to mandate that the password length argument given to the function fall within that range. The final parameter is non-alphanumeric, and as before, we will set it to 0. This again will be the default if nothing is specified when the function is called. Adding our line of code from earlier, we'll give this function its purpose. The final part of this function will be telling it to return the value. Let's see just how to use our newly created function in action. First, we'll execute it. Now let's create a variable to capture the function output. The first thing we need to do is call in our newly created function. Utilizing the advanced functionality that we built in earlier with commandlet binding, we need only begin calling the argument and we will get autocomplete options. Let's set the password length. We set our default character length to 15. Let's specify the value of 18 as our password length. Next, let's specify our non-alphanumeric value. Since we already have a default value of 0, we'll set this to 1, which will guarantee that at least one non-alphanumeric character will be generated. Let's execute and then call the variable. Now let's check to see that our function worked. The function worked perfectly and the character length is 18, just as we had specified in our argument when we called the function. Our function is now ready to generate new random passwords for us and is also ready to be put into its own script or module to be called later. Thank you for watching.